Yeah, see, now the camera don't want to do it. Now the camera don't want to do it. <laughs> Alright then. What's going on, everyone? This is A Train Game, your conductor speaking. And we bet we, we ready. We ready for some more banjo. Wait, yeah, banjo too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty then. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Here's something new that wasn't in banjo kazooie. We got the treble cleft. All you musicians out there, you know what that is. Nice one, punk. Treble clefts are worth a mighty 20 notes. So those are worth 20. Four times what a regular music note is worth. So go ahead, collect yourself a nice little prize. And then, oh, oh we almost fell. And then you want to come up here. And then look at that free jiggy right there, man. How easy was that? Come on. How easy was that? Alright, I don't trust this. Hold on, hold on. You never know with this game, something could be up here, you won't even be able to see it. Uh, Alright, we're not gonna go in there yet. No big deal. Let's come over here, we saw our boy. Our boy Jam Jars over here, wanted to teach us. Some. Here's a move that's a load of fun. Now uh, use Kazooie as a handheld gun. LT or RT fires eggs both high and low. Targets in his temple and you can go. Alright, that, that, that one... That one kind of rhymed. I think... <laughs> I think they're supposed to rhyme with like the actual Nintendo 64, you know, control buttons. And they actually rhymed with the, those buttons, but now that it's like the 360 controls, like it's, it kind of got messed up a little bit. But no big deal, man. No big, no biggie. All right. So next, you know what? Oh shoot. We should we should have went over here first. Let's let's go back. Oh man. Already messing up. Look at this. Man, it's like I don't know why. Like the first. Oh hold on, hold on. Oh look at the, We got the black ginger. We got a new color right there. Black. And there's nine of them. I, I don't know why, I thought there was only one for a second. I was about to be like, is this game really that racist? No way. Alright, so... This lady just wants you to... Kill all the... I don't know if those are like mosquitoes or what? Buzzards or something? Hold on, let's... Oh, come on. There we go. I think that's like... Amazing... Hardly believe that you wealthy sorted those flies. Enough of the crop jokes, lady. I believe you owe us a jiggy. But yeah, that is a girl. I, I was like, I always thought that's a girl, but is that a guy with that? He's got a really low pitched voice there. Oh well. I guess that's Bertha. Alright, let's get that jiggy, man. Let's get that jiggy. Alright, and if you can see that, uh. Oh shit, come on. Ah! Yeah, you see, there's uh, something up there. Hold on, what, what is up there? Oh yeah, there's a honeycomb up there, we can't quite get it yet. But well, we should be able to come back for that later. Now one reason this game is super freaking hard, man, like, is because, uh, if you remember from Banjo-Kazooie, like, they didn't really do it that much. They only did it like one time in Banjo-Kazooie where you had to, uh, you had something in a level that you couldn't do until you got an item or a move from a different level. They did it in like, what was it, Freeze Easy Peak? Yeah, Freeze Easy Peak, you had to like get the running shoes from Gobi's Valley, which is the world after Freeze Easy Peak, to be able to uh, race Boggy in that race. And then you had to come back after that. And they only did that one time, but in this game, oh my god, they do it constantly. Like, there's at least like five jiggies that you can't get because you have to find them. Well, I don't know about this world. I think you can get like most of them in this world, but in the other worlds, there's at least like five jiggies that you can't get because you have to go get moves from other worlds or like go into other worlds. There's even like little missions. They have to go into other worlds and get and do and stuff. What's up with you? It's terrible. I can't find targets in this tr favorite priceless relic thingy. I think it may have been stolen. Tough luck, we don't care. <laughs> Help Chief Bloats and find it and I'll reward you with Jiggy. The Jiggy, well, in that case... Great, I'll open the other door for it, but please, hurry. 
Uh, there's nothing we wouldn't do for a Jiggy. What would you do for a Jiggy piece? Alright, okay. I believe there's a honeycomb. Yep, right up there. Look at that. So I've already seen like four honeycombs in this world already. Alright, yeah, we can't come up this way yet. Yep, there's no way we're getting up there. And apparently this is coin. These are coins right here, look. Well, I don't know if it's coins, it's just like gold, but... Hey man, this is a Nintendo 64 game. You can't judge those graphics. You cannot judge those graphics. Alright, so there's nothing else we can really do in the meantime, so... Alright, let's, uh... Let's head over to Mumbo's hut. We can finally get Mumbo started, bro. Let's go. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I don't have to go and collect, like, the Mumbo tokens and stuff, because that was a real hassle in the other game. And the, 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 the what was it? Oh, hold on, hold on. We got, oh yeah, Globo. I, I forgot what the name was for a second, what the hell? Yes, we need your help now, man. We need your help now. Just throw it in the bag. Uh. Alright, and finally, what every character wanted to do. <coughs> Alright, press X to see Mighty Shaman Zapstick. Turn to me in my chair when you want to play as Baron Birdie. And look, stop following me, Banjo. Stop looking at me. Yes, but finally, what everyone wanted to do in Banjo-Kazooie. Play as Mumbo. <laughs> Just kidding, yeah, right. Who, who wanted to play as Mumbo? What the hell? Mumbo is, is a loser, man. Look at him. No, I'm just kidding. Mumbo's the ish, man. Mumbo is my guy. <clears throat> and he can he can even swim. Look at this, man. Look at this. He does the back the, the he like does the thing where you lay on your back and float there. <clears throat> I remember it took me forever to learn how to do that when I was learning how to swim. I had to teach myself how to swim, man. That's how freaking badass I am. Didn't even take swimming classes. I went I went to the pool with some friends and and uh and they all knew how to swim, and like, I, they all went into the deep end where they could all swim, and I was forced to, like, go in there so I could teach myself how to swim and stuff. Man, the struggle, man. The struggle of being a kid. That was, like, ten years ago, so... Crazy how time flies. And I... Alright, so as Mumbo, there's only run one... Okay, Mad Man, the Golden Goliath Rise, Magic only lasts short time to control me again, return such to its pace and present. So, yeah, yeah, really, there's only one reason to play as Mumbo in this game, and it's to find his little pets. <coughs> oh my god. Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's to find his little, like, pads. Oh, I should've got that one last, but whatever. Find his little mumble pads where he can do like little magic things. He really, he really can't do anything else, and there's really no point in being him besides that. But in this world, it's just to, you know, control this magic Goliath s guy. Yeah. So just kick these doors down like a boss. Look at that. Look at that. There ain't no stopping me. And then of course there's a time limit, like we only have 30 seconds left, so let's cheese it. <clears throat> let's cheese it, man, my god. I think I'm coming down with a cold, man. Alright, let's go. We're wasting time here, let's, let's do this. Yeah, I should've went for the other one first. I wasted a lot of time right there. Alright, come through here, go over here. Ah, uh, five seconds! Uh, got it. Yeah! Oh crap. There's actually still one more thing we need to get. <clears throat> Alright, so one more time. Come on. Yeah, everything like runs from you, like those little gladiator cats, like running from you and stuff, man. Scary, scaredy cats. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. 
One last look. look there's a white ginger over there. Man, what's what is this white and black? They had to add the two like <laughs> the two most bland colors to this game to put as gingos. White and black. I'd, I sense some racism here. Yeah, you can kick these things too, but they'll just respawn when you come back, so there's no big deal. Just kick this door in. And I think that's it. That's it, man. Yeah, just for good luck. Shit, I forgot how to... How do you stop? I know there's a way you can stop. No, I don't want to wait the 20 seconds. Man, we, we might have to wait the 20 seconds, man. You know what, I'll just cut until... It's done. Alright, you know what? I'm kind of stupid because there's still one more thing we need to kick in. What What in the world are you doing, A-Train? Over here, man. This this rock right here. Banjo and Kazooie can't do nothing about that yet. Jeez. Alright, now we're done and we don't have to wait all that time this time. We can just come over here and interact. Now, don't look so sad, man. You did it. You did it. Alright, we're done as Mumbo Jumbo now. So let's... Let's go back to the crib. It's time to go take a nap because Mumbo's well overdue for a nap. I mean, he didn't get nearly as much sleep as he did in the first game. Come on. I mean, there was like four worlds in the first game that he wasn't even in. So, I mean, come on. He's in every single world in this game. Come on, you, you gotta cut him some slack. He's gotta be able to sleep now. Jeez. Always, everyone's always expecting so much from Mumbo, I don't understand. Alright. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Alright, let's head out. And now we have a whole bunch of stuff that we can do now, thanks to Mumbo's freaking magic. But we're gonna stop the episode here. We got we got, we got, got a couple of jiggies in, that's, that's pretty good. So, if you enjoyed the episode and you think my voice is awesome, <laughs> subscribe for more. Remember to one-up that like button, thank you all for joining me. Sayonara.